Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video, and today we have some news. Week 10 challenges are now out, of course, because it's Thursday challenge day. So I'm just going to show you those really quickly, and then me and Liam are going to jump in because it is now um, out that you can upgrade your prisoner to stage 3. So this week's challenges, they're a bit mixed. Place a mounted turret or a damage trap in three different matches, not too hard. Search seven chests at Lazy Links or Dusty Divot, pretty easy. Three assault rifle kills, pretty easy to be fair. Deal, damage, deal 200 damage with scope weapons, a little bit harder. Uh, stage one, get a score of five or more at the shooting gallery east of Wailing Woods. There's two more to get and they are specific shooting galleries this time. Visit four expedition outposts in a single match, that one's pretty hard. And then the final one, hit an opponent with a chiller grenade or boogie bomb in three different matches pretty hard but me and Liam we're going to jump into a duos really quickly just to get our key to upgrade prisoner to stage three so uh, yeah if you're excited to get prisoner stage three all you have to do is what I'm about to do now I've been told that this is how you do it obviously you need the prisoner and the padlock on so you need the prisoner skin with the with the backpack that came with him the the little padlock back Bling. You need to have them two on. Now, um, basically, with this week's update, we had the new foraged campfires, which you can light dotted around the map. However, today, a new campfire has been put in the map, which is where you've got to go to get stage three of the prisoner. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that this one was hinted to by the week 10 loading screen, which was leaked about a week ago. So we've pretty much known where we could get the stage 3, just it wasn't possible until now. So me and Liam are going to drop straight there. Thankfully, the bus is going pretty much over where we need to go. So literally, we're going to get this for you guys, and then we're probably going to leave. I was on notice this mountain at least. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can sort of see that. Yes, it's this it's this mountain here. Now as far as I know, all you need to do is interact with something here. Oh. So it would appear that to get this you must light that campfire, which um, we've been unable to do. So that's how you're going to get it. So that means only one person each game can get that stage three. Only one person each game can get the stage three because there is no key, as you've just seen. I wasn't sure how they was going to do it, but yeah, as it so seems, only one person can get it each game. So yeah, to get it, if you want to get it yourself, it's going to be hard because you have to be the only person to light that campfire. So, in other words, me and Liam, who are working together, only one of us are going to be able to get it each game. If Liam comes out of this game, we'll jump into another one. We'll try and get it again. If not, um, then, yeah, <laughs> I will. Yeah. We can, tr we can try and get it. Liam, ready to... Because I don't want to leave Toby waiting. But yeah, the week 10 challenges this week, they're pretty easy. There's m maybe one or two really difficult ones. Like that, e four expedition outposts in a single match. That is going to be pretty hard to get. However, guys, um, just a little extra thing. Um, I believe that... I'm not 100% sure on this fact, don't quote me on this, but I do believe that today we have hit 40 subscribers. Now, um, may not sound like a lot, but I'll just point out that's about 40 more than I thought I was going to get. So, for all those of you who have subscribed, thank you very much for joining the uh, sling, and thanks for watching my videos. So, uh, let's try again to get the prisoner. Now, Liam, who's going to get the prisoner, me or you? Here's the big argument. Ah, uh, true. However, if you get there first and other people are trying to get it up, Liam, obviously you get it. If you are the first person to that mountain, 
and other people are trying to get it get it simple as that if it comes to it I'll have to show what it looks like using you I'm going for a shallow angle just to, in the hopes that I could get there quicker I don't know what will be the quickest way to go. however be warned guys you cannot achieve this in playgrounds it has to be in a normal game And there we go guys, stage three. So, um, the initial theory for this season was the Fire King theory. <laughs> we have a prisoner right here, Liam, who's a bit confused. How much health is that guy on? 40. He was only two shots off there. Only two shots away. So guys, as you've just seen, uh, light the campfire and all of a sudden you light your arm bursts into flame. So the original theory was that the uh, snowfall skin was going to be the fire king. Now, I don't know if that theory is true, but there is definitely an aspect of fire. As you can see, his arm is now made of magma. So... Yeah, uh, there's definitely some, some some form of aspects of fire within him, as you can see right there, stage three. So, um, yeah, he's gone from iced and locked to, like, free with some locks to le less locks, because he's now got rid of the locks on his arms, got rid of all the ones on his arms, and he's um, sort of magmatized. Now, if I, f if I find out how to get stage four, obviously, I will let you guys know. Um, however, just before I end the video, there is one more thing that we may need to take into account. There is something in-game that has happened over the last two days that is leading up to Season 8. That's right, Season 8 already, guys. Now, we've got 20 days left. However, we've been starting to experience camera shakes and rumbling sounds. What these are? Earthquakes. Now... We know that there's going to be a big event to do with earthquakes, like there's meant to be small earthquakes, medium earthquakes, and a large earthquake. There's like earthquake floor drop um, animations, like all these have been found in the files. However, that's not the most interesting thing. As you may or may not recall, in the background of this, um, of the, uh, what's it called? The, oh, the lobby, there is the cube. Now, the cube dropped things into the lake, so those things are probably underground now. As you just saw behind there, there is the cube. So, the cube dropped things into the lake. Thing is, those things are still there. So, could the cube have caused the earthquake? And will the cube come back? Now, I highly doubt the cube will come back. Like, if they do that, they're probably... They, it wouldn't be good for them they'd lose a lot of followers over it however the fact that the cube could have caused it I still do think that's a very good theory so uh, feel free to let me know what you think down below uh, thanks for watching if you liked it leave a like down below and see you guys in the next one